Hi everyone and welcome to your tarot reading for the 22nd to the 27th of April 2014. I'm sorry that this is um, coming on so late in the day on Monday the 22nd in Australia. Um, but I tried to record this several times today and I'm having a lot of technical difficulties so um, I'm very excited to hear in other parts of the country you might be okay because you might, might still be Sunday for you. Okay, so um, usually I use my Spirit Oracle deck, but I thought today I would use my Remote Tarot deck. So that's just the actual entry from the cards that they look like. That they look there. And um, as usual, I'm going to pick a card for each day of the week. Um, seven cards, so from the 22nd Monday through to Sunday the 27th. So we just shuffle the cards like so. And oh! There's a jumping card. Well, that that sort of a punctuation mark to the week, um, uh, something that'll mean something to the whole week. Um, but we'll look at this card at the end. The card that jumps because that's called the linking card. Okay, so we'll put that aside and we'll try not to forget about it. But then we'll um pick the card from Monday. So there's Monday. Which card? Well, this card seems to want to come from Monday. And this is called Death Heresy. And, and that's actually a major arcana in the tarot, the Hierophant, and it's actually number five in the major arcana. The Hierophant is usually about study, it's usually about higher learning. So today you could have been doing some, um, some study, some learning, um, or you might be about to this week or very soon enter into a new course of study. A new course of learning which will be very, very well for you and you'll be very successful in that field. So this is all about learning or it could even be um, that you've taken it upon yourself to go and say something not necessarily formally, but you can go you know, have gone and researched something that you're interested in. So that's today's card. So then we will have Tuesday's card. So what card will come for Tuesday? Ah, we have the three steps, and that's another major arcana. It's very interesting. We have two major arcana this week, and um, the priestess is all about listening to your intuition. So on Tuesday, you've really got to listen to that little voice inside you, and really be open to what it says. So be open to listening to your intuition on Tuesday. Okay, we'll look for the card for Wednesday. Wednesday's card is one of the four of wands. So this is a minor, minor arcana card. Now this is a good card. It's about abundance. It's about abundance in your career. About having a good, balanced career. It's about having balance and getting rewards for for the things you've achieved in your career. So that's for Wednesday. Let's have a look for Thursday. What what card do we have? Ah, we have this one. This is an excellent card. This is a card of celebration and victory. So on Thursday you should have a happy day where things will be positive and you celebrate things and you'll have little successes and little triumphs throughout the day on Thursday. Now we have Friday's card. Friday, which is Anzac Day, the 25th. And on Anzac Day we have the Emperor, which is interesting that we have that. On the 25th of Anzac Day, so it's all about authority and um, organizations and things like that. So it's a very interesting card to draw for Anzac Day. So it's all about um, people being positive, people in authority being positive and helpful towards you. And of course, on Anzac Day, a lot of people in all the army and um, the RSL and all that, you know, they're out there and, they're, and we need to thank them for helping us. For, for doing what they did for us in our country. And um, so that's for Friday. Now we'll look at Saturday's card, which is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is about a young man who is romantic and sweet and loving. So this could have to do with your partner being romantic and sweet and loving, or it could have to do with um, a new man coming into your life. Too. He may be a new romantic partner for you if you don't have one, or if you're a man, a new loving partner, a woman coming into your life if you don't have one. Okay, and then we have Sunday, which is the last day. We have the chariot, another major icon of the week, but it's major icon. And the chariot means that you may have felt like 
your life was off track for a while, but now you're starting to find out, you know, kind of you find ways to get it back on track and your life on now is kind of feel like it's going in the right direction for things. So this week and it's not good, I can't try to mark leaping cards, the cards that let out. And that happened to have been, and it was actually not the right way when I pulled it out, so I'm not just turning it over because these cards do mean different reverse and up the right way, but it was up the right way when I pulled it out. And the Two of Cups is good because it means a balance in love and a balance in your emotional life. So it's a card about balance. So hopefully this week also it will be very balanced and quite positive. So I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next time for your next show. Thank you.